Good evening and welcome to Pages from CFAX with Director's Commentary. Well, Creator's Commentary really. Um, basically what I'm trying to do here tonight is I'm going to watch the pages as they scroll through and explain where that page came from or how the code works or, you know, basically something interesting about a particular page um, because I think some folks are interested to hear how it works and uh, if I have to talk while the page is visible, if you know what I mean, on the news carousel, that means I only have 30 seconds to explain it which means um, I can't rave on half the night blathering you know, blathering on with a whole load of rubbish that nobody finds interesting. So I'm going to use this, um, I'm going to watch the pages here and uh, let's see how we get on. So uh, this is the last page in the carousel, so the next page that we see should be the start of the newsreel. So let's just give that a second. I've not timed this very well, have I? Okay, here we go. So, this page was sent in by TV Room, the, uh, the fellow who runs TV Room website. Um, if you haven't, haven't come across that, uh, definitely look it up. Um, and I've edited it a little bit just to fit in with the newsreel. So the character on the left is actually from some of the fun and entertainment pages from CFAX back in the 80s. And uh, I thought this was a very good uh, a very good bit of graphics, so I've put it in at the start of the newsreel. Next page here we have the headlines page. Now this is actually has been changed recently. You'll see that we now have double line headlines which we never used to have or we used to have but they were all crammed in so this is a new version of the cfax generating code as it were um that has been rolled out recently and that's what is producing that page and it's a lot more flexible now so i'm able to change things like that and uh, this is also a fairly new page the uk financial page so this style of that page was only on the go from about 2000 to 2004-ish, um, but I decided to recreate this particular version because it has a cool graph on it, and uh, I think that makes it sort of look interesting, um, even if you're not in any way interested in financial data, which I'm not. Um, so I've recreated that, and that gets data from the BBC's business pages. Uh, this is the sport headlines page, so this is still generated by some of the older CFAX code that was written in PHP. And how this works is it reads um, the first line of every page, I think, or something really weird like that, and uh, generates this page. So that needs to be changed. I want to have it that it um, is more sensibly ordered, but that is how it works at the moment. This page was generated fairly recently. Um, so this is the football fixtures page and obviously the data from it again comes directly from the BBC, uh, uh, the BBC Sport website page and that uh, that was quite, what's difficult about this is some of the uh, team names are too long to fit on the line so you might come across the odd time you'll see one that has been substituted with something that I've shortened a bit to make it fit. Now the next five pages are the weather, um, which is good because it gives me more time to talk about them. So the weather map uh, is an extremely complicated thing to code um, properly. So what I've actually done in this case is I've sort of cheated a bit. So whenever you the, the data comes from the Met Office's API, and uh, for each area, you get a number from 0 to 23, um, which represents a weather condition. So, rainy, cloudy, sunny, whatever. There's a lot of duplicates, because for some weird reason, they give you one number for morning and one number for night. So, a lot of those are the same. And... Basically what the code does is the map is split up into those areas and uh, the code 
takes each area and they are all compared against each other and that gives you a list of all the areas that are the same weather if you see what I mean and then it's just a matter of colouring those areas all the same and adding the text at the side in that colour to tell you the key, what that colour means. And in most cases it, it actually works really well. I mean it's a it's not a great cheat, um, but it works and you can see there's a there's a whole mosaics missing there. Um, and the that's that's how the weather map works. So it's a lot more straightforward than you might think. Um, this is the weather outlook page. So that again comes directly from the Met Office's API. And something I've wondered, you see, this page fits pretty much exactly. I mean, there's maybe an extra line at the bottom or something. But and I kind of wonder, are the Met Office still using the same character limits that they did when they were writing for CFAX. It's not impossible, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I have noticed definitely that a lot of the time the Met Office weather pages fit perfectly into CFAX, which is really nice because it's usually I'm having to really bend things to fit into CFAX now, whereas the weather still always works perfectly, so that's nice. Um, coming up next, I believe, we will have the travel page, I think, in just a second. Yep, here we go. And you'll see one of the problems is down at the bottom, my decoder has decided to have a wobbly for some reason, so I need to go upstairs with a screwdriver and adjust the colour subcarrier. Uh, this page was saved from the live service a couple... Um, not sure when exactly, but in the early 2000s, I would guess, by Brian Green, and uh, he thought it looked cool, so he sent it in to me, and I I also thought it looked cool, so now it's on CFAX's uh, newsreel. Uh, next, we have the top 40 charts. Now, that, again, comes directly from the UK top 40 um, company, official charts, and... Uh, Problem is, um, for some reason on their website, um, both the titles and the artist names are in full capitals. Um, don't know why that is, but that's just the way that page is. So I have had to, fortunately enough, in PHP that was a huge pain, um, but in Python there's actually a fairly handy, um, a fairly good even, um, function that converts from block capitals to title case, which is what I've used here, and it's not, it's not perfect. Um, you will see sometimes things will trip it up. Like for example, you'll see uh, down at the bottom there, featuring so and so. That, by my um, my mind, that should be a small f, just small featuring, because um, it looks like feet otherwise. Um, but. Um, but it's not bad. You'll see also apostrophes sometimes confuse it and uh, other different characters that it wouldn't expect can sometimes confuse it. But broadly speaking, it, it works really well, whereas the PHP one would literally just capitalize the first letter on every word that followed a space, um, which meant that it really messed up things like slashes and ampersands. And now we're just on to normal news pages, so I haven't really got much more to say. Um, I will just say again, this is new code that's running this, um, and I've ditched one of the navigation lines at the bottom, uh, just to make a bit more space in the system, um, so that you can get more news in, and there's not as much blank space, um, which has worked pretty well, I think. And uh, yeah, so that's that's all I'm going to talk about for tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, feel free to uh, share the CFAX service on your social media. Um, if you just if you want to visit the interactive service, if you haven't done already, um, go to www.nathanmediaservices.co.uk forward slash CFAX and you'll get um, an interactive viewer that allows you to actually type in the number. Um, also on my channel, which you're watching at the moment, you'll see that I am almost always live with pages from CFAX from this decoder. Um, 
This is an actual hardware decoder fed with an actual analog video signal and that is then um, uploaded live to YouTube. So uh, some people seem to enjoy that. I think I've, I've heard of ones leaving it on overnight while they're asleep and things like that. So yeah, people like it. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, have a good evening.